Right, welcome to the monthly solar generation stats for December 2024. I'm not going to come on camera this month, uh, mainly because you can probably tell from my voice I've got the kind of coldy flu thing, and I've had it for about a week or so. Uh, but I thought I'd just come on and go through the stats. Right, so the month of December then, 105.84 kilowatt hours. Uh, we'll come on to how that compares to last year and the year before. But as you can see, obviously it is the worst month of the year normally. Uh, and you can tell that it was. Um, the first half of the month, you know, up to the 14th was really terrible. With the odd day, just over four kilowatt hours or sort of five and six. The worst day of the whole month was the 13th. It was like 120 watts the whole day. Uh, most of the days just seemed to just sit around. I mean, that's 700 but they used to just sort of sit around the one kilowatt hour. You know, I'd always be saying, oh, I just did one kilowatt hour today. Um, until we got to the corner of the mid-month, a week before or so before Christmas. And we did have a couple of few reasonable days over six kilowatt hours. And a couple of those, well, look at those 12. That was the best day of the whole month for me on the 14th. And then it kind of, after the 22nd and Christmas and stuff, it went kind of downhill again, really. So Boxing Day was 700 watts or watt hours uh, again 700 watt hours 700 watt hours you know you thought crops we're never going to get above 100 but we did just get above 100 105 uh, so let's have a look at how that compares to last year all right so here we are comparing last year's if you can really just see that Obviously, this year, 105. Last year was 103. So it was just up on last year's. Although surprising that December 2022 was 166. So that was really good uh, in 2022. Uh, but again, slightly up on last year. Nothing much in it at all. Uh, although, let's have a look at the sort of the year itself. I'm just going to have a look year upon year now we've finished the year I'm not going to take 2022 into consideration because it wasn't a full year for me I started in March that year was when my installation was um, so that year it was 5.3 megawatt hours last year well this year was 5.5 5. um, and 2023 was 5.8 so we're definitely down a fair bit on last year overall just have a look at the quarters as well. That can be quite interesting to see. Now, we're not going to take into consideration the first quarter because, as I said, I had it installed then. So let's look at quarter two. So quarter two, the first year, was very similar to the following year. And then this year, we've been down. So not a great quarter two this year. And then quarter three, the first year was good and slightly down the second year. And then down again. So again, quarter three the worst quarter three. You can see a pattern emerging here. And you could say that in quarter one, really, against the uh, first quarter not being great. And then quarter four, again, over the three years, the first year was the best. Second year, not as good. And then this year, quarter four, worse again. So this year, based on all of the other quarters of the previous year uh, and the year before that, has been the worst. So really rosy. This is basically the worst year that I've had so far for solar out of the sort of more or less three years or so that I've been running it. So this is the My Energy dashboard where I've got my eddy data, my hot water heating data. So the gas boiler's is taken over a bit more now, heating the hot water when the uh, heating is on in the house. So as you can see here, the thicker graphs or parts of the plot graph here are really where the uh, heating has happened kind of overnight. Really, the so it's not really been uh, heated by solar at all this month, to be honest, with it being quite a bad month. So really, the numbers are way down on the use of the eddy. So 77.3 kilowatt hours uh, in December were used by the eddy to heat the hot water. Okay, this is the Hypervolt dashboard, the EV charger. And in December... We used 526.899 kilowatt hours in both the cars. Last month was higher at 646. 
didn't make uh, such longer trips, just work trips normally in December. And obviously there was a few days downtime where I probably didn't travel. So that lowered it as well. Uh, so not a bad month. I think it's really similar to October, actually. What was it? 531526. Yeah, so very similar to October's kind of use. So the hypervolt, 527 kilowatt hours for the month. Uh, the total mileage for the cars, the i3 did 1158 miles and the ix3 did 788 miles, which equaled 1946 miles. The total cost of those kilowatt hours at 7p was 36 pounds and 88 pence. So that worked out that the average pence per mile was 1.9 pence and we were averaging 3.69 miles per kilowatt hours uh, in the cars across both of them. So this is the uh, Octopus Energy dashboard. For the month, 1,046 kilowatt hours were imported from the grid, and that works out to be a cost of 77 pounds and 65 pence. The export was really low this month, as you'd expect, seven pounds and 37 pence is all that was exported, or 49 kilowatt hours. In total, uh, if it was a sunny day, then we'd export most of it if we could. Uh, as you can tell, though, that the month of December, there wasn't too much sun. So there wasn't too much to export two kilowatt hours a day sometimes. It was a really good day. I ate that, I ate that day. Um, that could have been when I could have been a little help the grid day that day. I got paid a little bit extra, which I'll show you at the end uh, when it comes to the uh, stats and the money, working out the money. Right, so the heating's really on this month. Uh, so the gas price is way up. So the cost for December was £126.94. Uh, that includes the standing charge. If I take the standing charge off, it's £117.83 for the gas itself. Kilowatt hours, 1,900 kilowatt hours for the gas. Right, let's get on with some numbers then. So imported from the grid this month. At 1,024 kilowatt hours at the cheap rate, 7p, on Octopus Intelligent, 71 pounds, 72 pence, and 22 kilowatt hours at the expensive or daytime rate of 26.7 pence, equaled 5 pounds and 93 pence. Don't forget that figure's gone up slightly on Octopus Intelligent for January with the overall price uh, rises. Uh, but for the month, it wasn't too bad, really. Um, 7.4 pence per kilowatt hour on average is what we paid for all of our electric. So I can't complain, really. Um, the export, as said before, 49 kilowatt hours, 15p, equaled £7.37. pence. Uh, just to see what how that compared to November. November, we actually exported 90, so you can tell the big difference uh, between 50 and 90 uh, between those two months. So the gas, 31 days, 1,912 kilowatt hours, 6.16 pence per kilowatt hour for gas. Although, as I said, in January, it's gone up a little bit more now. And that equated to 117 pounds and 83 pence. The gas tracker, I haven't put the average price on there, but the gas tracker has very much stayed in line, I would say, with the normal flexible gas rate. It's been a little bit under, a little bit lower. Over Christmas, Christmas Day, Boxing Day, it was 5.9 something or other. And now it seems to be slowly sort of creeping up again. Um, so they seem to be very, very similar between the actual gas tracker and the flexible octopus gas rate. Standing charges, 29.38 pence for gas per day. Times 31 days equals £9.11. And electric is now 48, or was, 48 0.78 pence a day times 31 days equals 15 pounds and 12 for December. As I said, the standing charges I think have gone up a tiny bit as well uh, from January onwards. So overall, then the gas 117.83 plus the standing charge 9 pounds 11 comes to 126.94, and the electric, as I said, we imported 77 pounds 65 pence plus the standing charge of 15 pounds and 12 pence, but minus the export, which was 7 pounds and 37 pence. And we did have some help the grid out days. Not a great rate this year, as you all probably know. Sometimes not even worth bothering. Um, but we did get back £2.17 for that. Uh, so the electric for the month was £83.23. Although, you know, we did run the EVs 
it's heating the hot water, done the heating for the house, obviously with the gas, um, and it's provided all the power for the month. So all in all, not too bad, especially when you include the car, running the cars on that as well. Uh, so overall, the total with the gas and the electric for the month seems a little bit high, doesn't it? But I suppose we're in the hopefully one of the peak months uh, for costs. Two hundred and ten pounds and seventeen pence overall for the month, but still not as high as my council tax. <laughs> Thanks very much for getting this far through the video. Uh, that's it for the month. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like. And don't forget to leave a comment down below about how your system got on in December. Of course, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. <laughs>